Uh, and a lot of footballers do. Yeah, I think you were telling me, I think we got the train once and you said something like 70 or 80 percent footballers are either divorced or bankrupt or something like that. Yeah, there's something like that. There's figures from the PFA. I mean, it may not be, I think this, it's definitely around about 50 percent, maybe just more than that. But no, I mean, I knew when I was retiring 18 months before. And uh, I can honestly say, I didn't. People say to me, Oh, do you miss playing? Of course, you, you wouldn't want to be putting a red shirt on and, and playing for Liverpool. It's amazing. But I, don't, I can assure you, it doesn't keep me up at night. So it's not something I think about enough. I'm very, very organised. I know what I do. I like routine. I don't like, I think. Are you pro- still kept that discipline? Yeah, I come yeah. to the gym every day. I, the one thing I did f- fear, not fear because it wouldn't have happened to me, was that. Of that, just getting up in the morning, thinking, what am I going to do today? Mm. And I always remember uh, Willie Miller. He was like a local comedian in Liverpool. He used to look after former players. Not look after them, but, you know, on the circuit, he'd make sure they'd have gigs or speaking arrangements or different things. And he just said, always fill your diary. And it's always stuck in my head that. I wouldn't say I'm actively trying to fill my diary. I'm, I'm fortunate with, with Sky and different things I have. My, my diary's always full on my days are. But... I've never had that thing where I wake up in the morning and think, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with the rest of my life? Or whatever it may be. I uh, I love my life, you know, what, what I've got now. And I love playing for Liverpool, but the thing I've got now with Sky and being able to have, you know, with my kids and being at home and coming to the gym every day with the lads, it's just like going to Melwood for me and <laughs> having a crack doing my gym. And I'm finished at 12, 1 o'clock and I always got something to do in the afternoon, a couple of bits and bobs, and then you're picking the kids up. Mm. You know? So it's, I've always had uh, that sort of structure. I've never really bothered me I've never been one who, who's look back and think oh god I wish I was playing oh, give me one more year and all I'm a bit like I've done it it was great I loved it I'm doing yeah, something yeah. else now and how, how, how what, what does it actually look like then when you when you retire then does are you actively searching out for the skies of the world and that sort of thing or do they come to you or how, how does that how did it work for you anyway well, well I knew I, I was going to retire and I, I'd always had it planned a couple of years before I think if you'd have asked me when I was 30 I'd have been a manager and then the longer it was going, I started taking me badges. I went down the academy, started doing my B license. That was with John Flanagan's age. <clears throat> he was about 15. I think Jack Robinson was there, maybe Andre Wisdom. So I was taking them to get me B license. I got that. I didn't love it, really. And then it made me think, because I think for most footballers, if they can, if they've got the option, they stay in the game or they probably do punditry yeah. in, in some way. And then I did ITV punditry for a, a Euros, I think it was 2012. So probably 12 months before I finished. It was almost like just dipping me toe in it. See what actually, I love the TV because mm. I, I just love talking about football. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really. And so then I started thinking, okay, it looks like it's going to be more punditry. And I think Sky then got onto my agent because they'd seen the, the stuff with, with ITV would you be interested type of thing? And I thought, oh, yeah. And people always ask me about retiring and what, why I retired or retired too early. Okay, that's, you know, that's that's a pain. Who knows if I'd have carried on with what it'd have been like. But I retired. One of the reasons I retired was, one, I didn't want to be sub anymore. I didn't like being sub. I didn't want to embarrass myself in a Liverpool shirt and let the club down and the supporters. Shut that fucking door. Honest <laughs> to God. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, lad. <laughs> Is that staying in now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be, yeah. 